Psalm 119, verse 4. Ata tzivita fikudecha lishmor me'od. We come back here and we have you as the subject, but that's a little bit redundant, so we get some uh, we get some emphasis here. You, you commanded. Here we have a PL. Uh, this is a PL perfect 2MS of the root tzava. Now, notice a couple things. In the PL, we get the hiric at the beginning and the dagesh forte there in the second root letter. Also notice that tzava is a third he verb. And so remember third he verbs, we get the yod that replaces the he. So we have tzivita. Now, the interesting feature of this verb is this he at the end. So we're used to seeing ta as an ending for the two ms in the perfect, but we now get that hey on the end of this one. And if you look at a BHS text, you're going to see a little circle above the line here, above the word, and that circle will take you over to the margin where there is written a dalit with a little dot over it, then a, a mem and a lamid with a little dot over it. And what this represents is four times written fully. So this is an abbreviation for Malay, fully. And then this is the, the letter Dalit for four times. So this form with the He on it occurs four times in the Hebrew Bible, and the Masoretes marked that for us. So it is a bit odd compared to what we are used to seeing, but it's not abnormal. It's there, okay? So you, let's keep going here. You, you have commanded your precepts. Notice again the plural 2ms. So it's a your, and then precepts is plural. Your precepts to keep very, to keep very. Here's the infinitive construct of shamar plus a lamid preposition in the call, and we might add the direct object here to keep them very, or to keep them diligently, them being those precepts that the Lord commanded.